guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. In today's video, I am finally, finally playing with the Revolution Forever Flawless Eyes Palette. If you've been here for a while, you know I've been trying to get my hands on this for, I don't even know how long. But uh, yeah, I got obsessed with this when I saw the Delightful Sausage Queen make me up this video comparing this with the Jeffree Star Blue Blood video. And I'd never been interested in blue palettes before this didn't faze me at all but as soon as i saw her video with this i was like i need that i need it now um but to say i struggled to get this would be an understatement um but yeah all of that will be explained in the next video no in the next clip if you want to see how i got this look keep on watching right so i'm going in with the ice palette so Again, if I haven't already, we'll throw up some swatches. But this is what it looks like. It has got mirror. I love these because they do flip like right back and they are sturdy, these tin cases. But this is what it looks like. Colour story made it very familiar. Um, um, we'll link Mrs. video for her comparison with the Blue Bar palette. Um, I'm just gonna say that was stunning. But this that video was what made me go, oh, I don't use blues. Well, I didn't, I, I have been more recently, um, but that was what made me go, probably should really get that palette, I think I need it. Um, but yeah, I have come prepared, because um, again, face chart. Um, this is the only blue one I've done, but I kind of sat there and I was like, I have so many looks in my head for this palette, I need to get them onto paper. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, Oh, I think I've got a spot coming up like behind my ear and it's really painful. Um, too much info, sorry there, but yeah, that was really getting on my nerves. As you also noticed, lighting's different. Filming during the day, I'm taking advantage of Kiara's nap and the fact that I haven't got to do the school run. I even wrote down the shades. So, um, going in with Deepest One first, which is called H2O, which is that one up there. It almost looks like a bit like a denim blue. Um, and I'm literally going, oh wait, before I do anything, I'll probably actually find the lid. That would be a um, really good idea, wouldn't it? Well, I'm not going to lie. Doing a school run with this look would be quite fun, I feel. But the headmistress especially would love this. If I turned up to school with this look on, she would love it. Whenever I turn up with makeup on, she she always comments. So she was like a bright, fun one. I feel like this is something that she would like because it's not my usual colour story. Also doing my hair tonight, so goodbye roots and goodbye peachy coloured ends. The brightest coming back. So yeah, going with H2O through. Actually, I'm not going to use that brush. I'm just going to wipe that off on the colour switch. I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use the little end on the Primark one with that H2O shade. I'm just going to pack that to get me. shape down Not too worried if it's looking a bit, little bit messy or transfers onto the lid because I'm going to cut it anyway. So, yeah. cool. Then I'm going to take the brush that I was going to take. It's 
make sure that's on. Dust it off. And then I'm going to take the shade Iceberg, which is that bottom one there, the brighter one. I'm going to do the usual over the edge. I should have taken that on the same brush to be fair actually. Packing type brushes, that's what I need. Note to self, get my packing brushes. Sod it. Just dust it off. There we go. I'll use that other brush just to blend them. I'm like wiggling it on as I go, but it's really pretty blue. I just forgot that one. Now I'm going to take that and just make sure it's dusted off. We've done this very bad way. Why am I using that mirror in front of me when I have one here? Take this. I'm going to take the shade Freeze, which is this light blue here. I'm going to take this because I can kind of take it on the edge or I can take it on the side. And I'm going to do it around the edge. And I'm going to take it kind of half and half so I can take it either. Make sure I'm kind of. Oh, that's. Fine. Shush. You know what? I might. Damn it, fine. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into iceberg and freeze. Um, and I'm going to just kind of meet that edge between the two. Let's we'll see if that helps. Do is go in that again and take a little bit more of iceberg. So I'm actually going to kind of blend it more this time. So go. Reintensify because I don't want to lose it. Beautiful. 
take that H2O shade, that darkest one, just going to really concentrate that, right in the wrist. I'm going to take the cotton bud and get some. my cellar water and cut the shape that I want. Know how it goes. And then I'll fill it with base and then I will start applying the pretty shimmer shades on my lid. whatever's kind of excess on that already. So, first shade I'm going to go in with is, oh no, see, now I don't know, don't go in with instead. I was going to go in with uh, Glacier, this one here, which is silver, but now I quite want to go in with that one, Cool, which is a white. Now, I'll stick with Glacier. So, I'm going to take. These are all going on dry as far. I haven't wet, or see, as you see, I haven't wet them. I'm quite tempted to, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get the 
primer or trail. That's really nice. I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to use the other side of that brush to take the shade Icicle at the top of that turquoisey blue shade. Um, again, I'll go in with it dry. I may wet it. I'm a sucker for like a turquoise aqua colour though. I bring it over a little bit that silver a bit. And then I'm going to take, I did say, yeah, Arctic, which is this darkest blue here, which I'm really deep. Oh my god. Looking forward to using. the sound of my stomach rumbling. Yeah, I have not eaten anything since breakfast. Wipe that off and take that icicle shade I have previously and just tap over. Okay, so I'm going to go off, do the other eye, do the rest. Um, I'm going to come back to do my bronzer, highlighter, and blusher because I have got new ones from Beat Bay. I took advantage of three for two. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to do those and then we'll do under eye and then we're done. Right, so I am back. As you can tell, um, lighting is a little bit different. It is not the middle of uh, the afternoon anymore. No, it's not my kids are in bed. Um, I literally came off camera to do the rest of my face and uh, Kiara woke up. So I had to put all of that on hold. Um, until um, like John came home, Ari came home from school and then we remembered the vet appointment and then dinner and it was just easier to wait until they were in bed, so yeah. So they're in bed. I've done um, foundation, concealer, cream products. So yeah, um, I have another Beauty Bay bronzer. I got the shade Donut, which I feel like is much more my kind of tone so we're gonna go in with this i oh, which brush i want to use that one yeah i think actually that one might be better so i'm gonna go in with this i said i've done my cream bronzer already i do feel like that is much more my tone Or at least I've got my other one for summer. So if you are pale, 
and don't obviously I've got my cream bronzer on which is a bit more uh, warmer which you can also already see underneath this in itself is more kind of neutral I would well yeah I would say this is more neutral I'll get my one out in a second to compare very pale. Yeah. Oh, I shot that was going to be good one This donut. Let's get four now. Where is it? No, they're the two highlighters. My other highlighters. So this is Fawn, and that is Donut. So you can see that one's a bit more cool, neutral. So I'd say that one is definitely more my tone. That one's probably me during summer once I've got a tan. Um, so, okay, good to know. Happy I've got that. Um, blusher. Finally got a blusher. I got the shade Blossom, which is this pink one. It is a shimmery blush. It's got like a peachy gold reflex i am dipping that in at once and tapping off i'm just gonna going sparingly that's pretty i don't want to go too blush heavy on i know i've been doing a lot of blush heavy looks That's a beautiful colour. That is a colour blush that I've been wanting to have in my collection for a while. A tiny bit of finish. Yeah. Love that. Happy with that. Last but not least, I got the other highlight I wanted. So this is Beam. This is like the medium... Um, Actually, no, it's probably the darker one out of the other two, actually. So I've got Glaze and Flash. So Flash is the lightest one, which actually probably would go with this look more because this has got the silver. And then Glaze is the more pink-toned one. And then I have... Okay, so actually Beam is the darkest of the three. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to kind of see... I'll see, actually, you know what, I'll swatch them all for you. Um, let me just clean off the back of my hand, get a bit of foundation off the back of my hand. I actually wanted my NYX one today, I haven't used it for a while. So I thought, you know what, I will revisit, because I've been using either my Maybelline, the new Maybelline Superstay, or my, what's the other one I've been liking, my W7 Glow Time one even though i have to use my shade adjusting drops with it i've really been liking that so what's this one so flash glaze beam so flash glaze So top is flash, middle is glaze, and the bottom gold one is beam. So yeah, for the purpose of this look, I'm not going to use beam, obviously, because it is gold and it doesn't go with this look. My other one does, but it is beautiful. Um, I will most definitely be using, but I will probably, actually, my next look that I have planned... Oh, actually, I might not do that look next. I might save that. Well, I don't know. I might. I'm planning on filming tomorrow morning, possibly, because both girls aren't here. Um, we'll see what I what I end up doing. Um, but it's back to my Beauty Bay matte palette because after using it, I had so many um, ideas just like popped into my head. 
So I was like, right, I need to get them down on a face chart, you know, in my, uh, on a face chart, pop them in my pad, just, you know, and any time like, I've spoken to my mum on a video call and that, and she's like, oh, have you done any more? And I've shown her them, and she's like, oh my God, yeah, okay. And it's funny, because I've spoke to her the other night at like midnight, nearly. I was like, just before midnight. Um, I was on video call with her, and she was watching my Beauty Bay video, and uh, as soon as I started like putting the colours on, she was like, oh my god, I can see why you wanted it now. And I can see why you were like kicking yourself for waiting so long to buy it, you know. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of my finger for my milk moustache. Because once I put my like, lip liner on, I'm not. Half of this will probably disappear, so. I do need though is my little detail brush. Where's it gone? There it is. And do my inner corner and my brow bone. I've literally when I went to do my brows, I was like, oh okay. I've literally taken like this blue into my brow. I'm like, oops, okay. Took it a lot higher than I intended to, so always fun. So that is that. I'll leave my highlighter out just in case I need it. I don't think I do, but just in case, you never know. Now all that's left is lips and under eyes. What did I have down for my under eyes? That looks like H2 into iceberg into freeze, but I might. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I might do H2 into ice. Or well, I might just do iceberg into freeze. Either way, I need a nice, fun waterline. Where is... Oh. Barry M. High Viz in Glow Stick, the lighter blue. There we go. I'll leave that pencil out just in case I need to go back over my waterline after. So I'm going to go in with H2O. I'm going to try H2O first. If that doesn't work, then I will just go straight in with Iceberg, which is like the brighter, brighter blue. My eyes are just looking old. Gonna do both eyes at the same time. Either way, I'm going darkest to lightest. So I'm trying H2O. If H2O doesn't cut it, then I'm just gonna go over it with iceberg. Um, and then into freeze, which is the lightest blue. Um, but yeah, you will know by the colours. <laughs>
got my W7 lash test it. Frozen mascara on. Obviously, normally I would have put my lashes on and stuff um, by now, but I didn't do any of that while I was off camera because kids. <coughs> And I normally do that after I've done my base anyway. I don't normally, I don't like to put my lashes on before I've done my base. For some reason, I think it's just, I don't, I fear getting like foundation on my lashes or something. I don't know. Righty hi. Um, this is gonna cut out in a sec, so I'm gonna go off and put my lashes on. I'm gonna use my do 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 Gasm GCO2s again. I love these. Um, I see my last two video, two videos, three videos. I think it's the last two videos I've used these. Um, I got sent these. I love them. Um, I do have an affiliate code in the description box. Um, you are not obliged to use it, obviously, but if you do, you will save twenty percent. Um, yeah, I I love them, as you will notice. I <laughs> keep using them. They're very pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go off, go put my lip on, go throw these on. I'll come back. Everything will be finished, and we'll see everything once it's all complete and come together and. See you in a sec. Right, I am back. I am actually going to open my phone. Can I move my phone there? Oh, I can, and it doesn't. Um, my camera isn't actually picking it up. That is fantastic. That's much easier. So basically, my phone is connected to the camera because I've just taken my pictures now instead of doing it after because I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a gloss or not. Um, but I actually like it, Matt. So we're good. So yeah. Everything is done, bar TikToks. But um, yeah, hi. I like it. Lashes are on, lips is on. I used my MUA Obsession, no, not Obsession. Sincere, Obsession is dark pencil. Uh, sincere pencil. What's this one I bought? Heartbreaker, I thought darker red. Yeah. Um, yeah, I use Sincere pencil and I use my Revolution 136 Raw Liquid Lip. Um, if you are pale and want a pale liquid lipstick, that is a really good option because it is super pale. But um, yeah, I love how this look has come to life. It is exactly what I drew down and I'm really proud of the fact that I've managed to make it jump off the paper and bring it to life on my face. Yay me. Um, I'm also proud that my drawing skills are still kind of there so I haven't completely lost my touch so proud of that again but yeah I've definitely had fun doing the face charts and I definitely want to keep doing them um as I, I've got another look that I did the other night I like sketched out super quick so but that's a relatively easy one it's not a difficult look by any means it's like two colours um I realistically I could probably just do it with the one and buff it out but I, I will add the second just for a cleaner cleaner transition but yeah I um, love how this has turned out I really do down just just all of it I did my only thing is I wish I had more lid space so obviously I have more space to work with but I love how this looks 
and I love these lashes with it. I just, yeah, I know, I love it all. Um, my bronzer and my blusher, beautiful. Obviously, I didn't use a highlight today. I will use it probably in the next video, but I love it all. So glad I finally have this. God, it didn't take me so long to get it. Not my fault, it was been out of stock everywhere. Um, I have not been able, I've tried literally every time I went on Superdrug, my local store never had it apparently. They've never had it in store. But I tried, like, here to Brighton, nope, none of them had it. I even had my friends up in London, like, do stock checks on their stores, never had them. Like, they never have them in. Um, so I said F it and just ordered it on Beauty Bay when they had it in stock instead. But I'm glad I finally have it. So that's two of the big Forever Flawless that I have now. There are other ones I like, but yeah, I'm just glad I finally have it. I don't know which one I'll get next, but I don't know. They have three for two on Revolution at the moment, and I believe this is in stock. So if you did want to pick it up, it's on three for two. Um, so I have this and the chilled one in the big one. I do want to get the little chilled one as well, just to add to my minis, but I have got four left, five left. I can't remember what I'm up to. I think I have four left to collect, I might be wrong. In terms of palettes I have left to test, I have still got quite a few in the bag of goodies. I have my Beauty Bay Nude, my Morphe 35XO, which was the holiday palette that they brought out. I have three more e.l.f. bite size, I have the two mint ones and the cream and sugar neutral one, I have the Cinderella palette and then I have all but one of the XX Revolution quads because the one that I was missing arrived uh, with the two replacements, the two replacements arrived intact, the one that was the one to complete the set arrived smashed so we contacted Boots and they were like it's fine we'll send you another one. Um, and we said, you know, it was the lack of protection in the packaging that was the issue. So what do they do? They sent out another one in just a cardboard envelope with no bubble wrap or any sort of protection in the packet at all. So it arrived completely smashed again. I had to video it and send it to my friend and say, look, it has happened again. This is how it's just arrived as I opened it. Um, so yeah, yeah, there's a few to get through, but yeah, I'm excited. Let me know, obviously, what you want me to do. I, what I will do is, again, I will put them up on my Instagram stories for you guys to vote, but with the XX ones, especially, I will put the picture up again, but I will try and put them up and put the names up so you can actually vote for, like you can actually list the name of the one that you want me to use. Because I know last time I literally just put the picture up and put a, in, like an emoji over the one that I'd already done. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and do it that way. I think it might be easier. But, um, yeah, I hope you like this look either way. I definitely do. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm really proud of it. And the fact that my eyes have held up since, like, what, half past 12, one o'clock this afternoon. Um, and a couple of times I've gone to rub my eyes and I've just like stopped myself and I'm like, no, 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 I have eyeshadow on, I can't do that, otherwise it's going to go everywhere. But, I think it looks pretty, I like it. But, right, I'm going to go and love you and leave you, it is still relatively early, so I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea and go and chill out. And, I don't think we're going to do my hair now, but, we'll see. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below, hit the notification bell so you are notified of every upload. Still not back to three times a week, uh, slowly trying to get back to that. Um, so I'm currently more like two times a week, but yeah. If you want to see all the rest of the behind the scenes, all the other good stuff, socials all up here, TikTok, Instagram and TikTok, no, Twitter. I've already said TikTok, yeah. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, up here. Appreciate if you would go follow me on all of those, trying to get all of my socials up to my TikTok level, because apparently that one can boom and grow very, very quickly. The rest of them, on the other hand, do not. Can't say how that works, but hey, hi. I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.